Dan! Hello. Welcome to Bruce with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Uh, I hope you're well. Grab a beer. Join me. Maybe grab two to sample. You guys may have had this one because this, these are very popular beers from Trader Joe's. Uh, if you have a Trader Joe's nearby, you've probably had these. I collected one of these from the tailgate from a CU uh, UCLA game, and my wife got this one recently. Uh, I've had it. A, it's been a while. Haven't actually reviewed it on here. So let's compare and contrast these two Trader Joe's uh, beers that you can get from there. On my left, um, uh, first of all, please hit that like and subscribe button. Really, really would appreciate if you hit that. Uh, really helps me for my YouTube algorithm. That way we can have cold drinks like this anytime you want. All right, all right, all right. Like and subscribe, please, and thank you so much. Okay, so let's get to it. On my left, uh, this one is from Rhinelander Brewing Company out of Rhinelander. I think it's how you say it, Rhinelander, Wisconsin. You know, not too far away from Green Bay. Uh, this one is Boson, even though it looks like Boatswain. Boson, uh, double IPA. 8.4 on the Richter. Tap in. Uh, I couldn't find exactly what hops are in it, just off the quick check. Uh, so I just know very, uh, you know, cloudy amber looking like. Um, just as another contract brew for Trader Joe's um, on the can. They're brewed in small batches. I knew that. Uh, has pleasant bitterness from the extra hops. This one is a big, bold beer. Uh, that's all it really says on the can. Um, but yeah, so I had it for uh, it. It definitely pretty hoppy, pretty malty, but let, let's see what other characteristics I get. This one on, on, on my right, um, Trader Joe's Joseph's Brow uh, Brewery out of San Jose, California. Drive through red. Uh, this one is seven deuce on the Richter. Tap in. Uh, inspired by the majestic drive through chandelier giant sequoia tree, our drive through red uh, ale is layered with a rich multi body and dry hopped with noble uh, tet. I, th I always thought it was tetning. Uh, tetting hops. Uh, I think it's tetning, uh, which I think is supposed to give a little earthiness to it. Um, but there you go. San Jose, Wisconsin, or California, Wisconsin, um, both Trader Joe's brews. Let me know if you guys have had this, what you think of these. These are definitely budget beers. I think you can get a uh, six-pack of this double IPA for like five ninety nine. Uh, they definitely make them, make them to sell at a nice price. Um, but, you know, will that nice price come with a good taste? That's, that's the question. So, um, would love any comments. Let's get to the aroma checks. Get a nice sit, uh, big, big boozy citrus, uh, you know, kind of floral um, hoppiness to to the smell. Definitely like you know, I don't want to say uh, earthy biscuity malt maybe, but like definitely like a citrus hoppy malt. Okay, the drive through red, definitely not as intense, but still. Uh, Earthy, earthy, multi. Okay. This one's way more intense than that, but more percentage, more hot, more hops, all that. All right. Well, let's get to it. No words, just emotions. Like and subscribe. Let's drink. Cheers. Big citrus, Bob, orange, like big tangerine orange, um, hoppy floral some kind of powdery almost like a almost like a powdery malt uh how big the you know it kind of malty is i mean it's a it is a for a double ipa it's a it, it's kind of like boring on like a barley wine kind of uh mouthfeel uh, i'd say probably geez maybe like a 40 40 percent mouthfeel yeah creamy um but big Big citrus, uh, boozy, hoppy. Um, definitely not for the faint of heart as far as hoppiness. Um, says 75 IBU, so, you know, pr pretty high. This one is supposed to be 42 IBU. All right, cheers. Here we go. Drive through red. Joseph's Brow Red Ale. A lot more tame. I mean, it's not an IPA. It's a red ale. 
a lot more um, easy going down, drinkable. I mean, it, so again, it's about 1% less roughly than this, but it, I definitely say it comes off a lot calmer than that. Almost has like an iced tea kind of earthy, like an earthy iced tea kind of uh, brew meets a meets a beer meets like you know, like they're wrong. T tastes tastes like beer. Doesn't taste like iced tea. It just has that kind of feel to it. All right, uh, mouthfeel on this one. Way lighter. I'd say about half of that. About twenty out of a hundred or twenty five. Um, a lot more, lot more drinkable on this one. Uh, this one definitely <laughs> will will wake up your taste buds. It's a good comparison. Um, again, lo love to know what y'all think of this. Uh, this one's a lot more just toned down, nice earthy notes to go with a, a laid back malt. Yeah, so. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to see what I, if there's any other comments on this on Untapped that I can uh, gather that are really interesting. We're going to give it a grade. Heads up, and uh, we're going to get the hell out of here. Uh, see what see what we got. Hold on. All right. Um, by the way, obviously go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has just such great deals on beer. Love that I if I want to try one, I can just rip one off of a four pack or a six pack and just try it. Don't have to actually buy the whole thing. Kind of like Handy Market in Burbank, but in a different way where I can just grab it. Um, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, how much do all who go to Trader Joe's love that? Uh, they just have so much good stuff there. So props out to Trader Joe's. Um, yeah, the big difference between these two seems to be like this one definitely. I mean, I saw a few, <laughs> some kind. I, I read a couple comments on on these, and uh, I. I just had to point this one out on the, the Boson uh, double IPA. It says, this guy's comment, good for the price, but really but a per, but really a pretty nasty IPA. Won't buy again. I don't know how you can say good for the price, but a pretty nasty IPA. Doesn't quite correlate to me. One guy rated a 4 out of 5 and said, no, it doesn't. Um, I don't know what that means. If he's reacting to the other guy. Um, and I feel like there's another good comment. Uh, let's see. Not bad. Whoa, this is an IPA. It's heavy. Oh, th th yeah, this is the comment. Whoa, this is an IPA. It's heavy with a scotch quality to it. I'm, I'm here for it. Uh, uh, one, and then so someone says, filling, malty, definitely strong. Hints of honey in the aftertaste. Probably won't drink this one again, uh, you know, TBH. Um, for the price, and it depends. It's it, it's aggressive you know, with with the booze, the citrus. Um, I don't want to say raw alcohol, but it's just it's not it's not a uh, it's not apologizing for itself. Definitely malty and creamy. I mean, absolutely having it in a glass though. I actually kind of. It feels like like a small batch brew. Well, when I brewed the one brew that I did, kind of had this kind of like raw taste. They didn't like. I don't think they multiple, uh, you know, put it in different fermenters. I think it was a pretty basic beer, um, as far as I can tell. But it's it's aggressive. Big citrus, big floral, big. I mean, I do see what you say with the honey. And, I mean, definitely multi. So, all right. So let's finish that one up. Um, so I forgot to put. Okay, got it. So on that one, stellar down to hell no on the the Boson Double IPA from Trader Joe's. Um, I'm gonna rate it like a. It's challenging. I mean, a lot of people would hate it because it's 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 aggressive. Um, it's fine. Give it like a 82. So B minus. Um, I don't mind being challenged and I kind of, you know, have gotten used to it of having multiple, like, cause I had a nice six pack in the last couple weeks as far as like having a couple and yeah, it's just a, it's a gritty, aggressive double IPA. Very, very heavy, very malty. 
doesn't taste like scotch. Tastes more like I think what he's scotch isn't sweet. This definitely has a sweet citrus to it. To go along with the floral, aggressive, hoppy, all that. Uh, if if you want an aggressive double IPA, you should you should get it. If you don't want something that's gonna smack you in the face, don't get it. Um, all right, so B minus for me on that one. Uh, the drive through red. Um, one comment, great head, bready base that makes for a great foundation, uh, for the dry hops on the end. Um, and someone else said, you know, it has a nice caramel base. That's basically what I do get from this is a, is a very nice, easy drinking, uh, bready caramel. Definitely way less aggressive than that. Comes off more like six and a half than what it is, which is, uh, what was it? Seven deuce? Seven deuce. Comes off lighter than it actually is, so say that. Um, there are two different directions of beers. If you want super aggressive and hoppy, there you go. If you want a nice, you know, easy going caramel uh, bready, bready ale. Let's see. Lower touch of earthiness because it's got kind of like the noble hops in it. It's good. Um, nothing amazing, but um, more of a, a sessionable beer. So, all right. Um, what did I say? Yeah, yeah. I, I put out everything on it. So again, love would love your comments. I already love these comments. I love good good for the price, but a nasty IPA that doesn't make any sense. All right. Uh, Stow her down to hell no. Um, it's kind of funny. It, it might get ish the same grade, but it's just because I appreciate aggressive stuff. So I'm not going to rate aggre aggressive stuff that's not really good that high, but at least I'm going to rate, rate it reasonably. This is not aggressive, but just a nice drinkable beer. Um, one more, One more sip. Hold on. I'm telling you, for for different reasons. So to me, this is a, this is a draw. It's fine. They're both to me B minus beers, but for different reasons. This is a very aggressive double IPA that smacks you in the face with its kind of like little bit of raw small batch uh, making, a uh, little gritty, a little heavy floral hoppy. Um, but with the malt and all that, I mean, you know, not bad. Again, I would not drink more than, this is not sessionable, but I appreciate what it is for one beer. 82, 80, they're both 82s, um, B minuses. So this one you definitely could drink like two of and be, you know, totally fine with. So, all right. Well, there you go. I uh, would, lo would love to see, hear what you all think. Um, that's what I got. Two B minuses on this one. Both It's Fine. Uh, like and subscribe. Let's keep drinking beer. I'll see you on the next beer review. Uh, yeah. Um, we're we're going to eat heavy this week. It's a, uh, it's a festive week, of course. So, like and subscribe. See you out there. I like beer.